Hey, Rockstar, Steve aka Void here, and I want to welcome you to this week's episode of Pajama Jam. I'm really, really excited about today's episode because I'm actually going to be playing two different riffs today. It's going to be a double header, and um, that is going to be, if you didn't read the, the little blurb advertising this, it's going to be for Motley Crue, um, two songs, two of my favorite Motley Crue riffs, which, which are Dr. Feelgood and Kickstart My Heart. So I'm really, really excited. First, I want to just make sure that everything's working properly because this is the first time I'm actually using, uh, there's a little new, uh, a new setup that I'm using here. And I want to make sure it's all working. So if you could let me know in the chat box that you can see and hear me clearly, as well as say hi. Let me know where you're um, where you're watching from. So just let me know your name as well as uh, what city you're watching from. All right. So and I'm seeing. Um, Cool, cool. I'm seeing different uh, chats coming in. So I'm right now. I'm broadcasting on Facebook, on Periscope. I'm broadcasting on Twitch and on YouTube Live. So I have it set up so I could see all the chats from um, all, everything. So all at once. So I could see. Um, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Um, Gatenop. Um, I'm not only on Periscope. I'm also on. Um, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Okay, um, so cool. I see John is here. Awesome. Johnny, uh, Steven, um, Lance, Jim. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Very, very cool. So again, tonight's episode is going to be um, a lot of fun. I just finished watching uh, the movie The Dirt, um, the Motley Crue biopic on Netflix. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a cool movie for sure. Um, and it kind of inspired me to play these two songs. I didn't think that there were there was enough of these two songs in this uh, in the movie um, "Kickstart My Heart" and "Doctor Feelgood," but I'm gonna play them because uh, it just reminded me of those songs. And there's just a lot of power to uh, to those songs. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, hope you have a good time. Hope you're wearing uh, your pajamas um, here. Today's a little bit lighter. Uh, I usually have the lights off over here. But um, if this is your first Pajama Jam, I think we're going to have a blast. we um, got a lot of cool stuff planned. First, some updates um, before we get into anything. Again, I've got some new tech happening here. Please let me know if there are any dropouts or if there's anything uh, strange that if you've been to a Pajama Jam before, if there's anything weird going on um, with the audio or the video. So far, it looks like it's all good. I can see Periscope. I can see Facebook. This is all really, really cool. I love when technology works. I hate it when it doesn't work, but um, but this seems to be working right now. So very, very cool. So I also wanted to mention... Um, We've got some new merch inside the Rockstar Mind merch store. So you can see I'm rocking some um, some merch today. I've got the Void Cancer uh, tank top, and I've got also uh, World's Greatest Guitar Dad mug over here. Um, this is <laughs> really this is all the stuff. These are the only clothes that I own. So um, anyway, there's a lot of cool stuff inside the merch store. Um, let me know if you want the link. I'll I'll um, link it inside the chat in um, at some point inside this broadcast. But we've got some cool new designs. I'm really really happy about it. Um, some of them coincide with my book and some of the messages that happen. Um, that I'm, I'm trying to get across inside the book that, you know, guitar is all about playing music. So um, check that out. Let me know if you need the link. And then we've got some really, really cool designs. And then I've got one more, um, one more thing I want to mention. I've been talking about this for a little while. And uh, and it's finally here. So we've got Pajama Jam is the show. And finally, I have my Rockstar Mind Jammies. I am so excited about these. Oh, man, they're so comfortable. And they got the Rockstar Mind guy on there. Um, very, very comfortable jammies. And um, when I figure out how to mass produce these, then I'll definitely um, put them up in the merch store. But uh, <laughs> these are um, definitely... These are my favorite pajamas for sure. I'm, I'm going to order some more. Um, they're pretty expensive uh, if I do say so myself, but uh, definitely worth it for doing these pajama jams. So um, hopefully you're watching and wearing your pajamas, uh, whether it's day, afternoon, or night, and you're joining me. Um, maybe you've got your guitar. Maybe you just want to watch. But basically... Um, the way pajama jams work and really where they came from was 
I'm a new dad. And last year, um, taking care of my daughter and, you know, my wife on maternity leave, um, I didn't really have that much time to practice guitar. So I would basically come downstairs and realize that at nighttime when everyone was sleeping, that's when I could practice. And so that's what's going on right now. And I thought, well, I also broadcast videos over here. So why don't I just broadcast the the session why don't i just broadcast the my practice session and i'll just talk about what i'm thinking as i'm practicing and that became pajama jam basically i learned songs up to speed in 30 minutes or less i've got the countdown timer right over here and um, that just makes it fun kind of like a game show so i want to see if i can use all of my best strategies and um and beat the clock 30 minutes or less up to speed for popular riffs solos um and songs and um and that's really how this all came to be so uh if you're a beginner watching you know grab some popcorn and um i'd say just sit back and relax and watch as i as i employ these strategies um in learning songs faster you could use the strategies in in other songs that you're working on if you want to follow along and play kickstart my heart and dr feelgood that's totally cool but i would say maybe some of the techniques might be a little bit like some of the parts might be a little bit advanced um depending on your level so regardless whether you're playing this or you're playing something that's easier um the same techniques are going to be like good practice is good practice and a good practice strategy is what you need to learn any song really and if you're a beginner i recommend you know watch see how i you know if I beat the clock, um, some of these have been some uh, nail biters, um, but I'm really happy with uh, with last week or uh, the last episode a couple of weeks ago, Spirit of the Radio by Rush. Um, if you're an intermediate guitar player, then, you know, you could follow along as well or you could just sit back. It's totally up to you, but I'm definitely really happy to have you here and I'm looking forward to getting into these riffs over here. Um, so what I did was I did some pre-practice and what pre-practice is, is where you set up all of this stuff to make sure that you, when you sit down to practice, you have everything you need. You don't have to waste practice time to get the tab or to um, get the metronome set up or even um, getting the guitar tuned because this song and actually Dr. Feelgood both riffs are um, in a whole step lower so it's not E A D G B E standard tuning it's actually um, each note is different this is going to be a D this is going to be a G this one's going to be a C and so on all um, it's going to be a whole step lower so it's going to be deeper and that creates a heavier sound especially with distortion so that's what I had to do and I didn't want to sit here and tune um, five minutes before I didn't want to tune um, on the broadcast I, I tuned it before before, and I let the guitar settle and this is by the way this is one of my other guitars um, Fender TC90 um, semi hollow body really I love this guitar um, but it's I didn't want to tune my my strat down so I have this guitar for tuning stuff down okay so if you have multiple guitars you can have one that's in a, an alternate tuning but I got this ready to go and um, I got that I got the tab I got the tempos I got everything ready to go I listened to the song uh, a couple times kickstart my heart and dr. feelgood just so it was in my head and um, and that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do here is we're going to scan through the tab uh, we're going to start the time, we're going to scan through the tab, and then I'm going to basically walk through um, learning these these songs, these uh, these riffs, okay? But first, I want to make sure that the, the chat is all working properly. Awesome, we've got Tommy here, we've got Basher, awesome. Um, Basher is asking, is it on Jamspace also? And I will be announcing something very, very soon. Um, there's some really awesome stuff happening with Jamspace. Jamspace is, um, is my new forum. If you haven't received an invite yet, you will soon. If you're a Play From Day One VIP member, a Play From Day One Pro member, or founding member, then you should have received your invite. If you're a band member, um, a band coaching program, then you would have received an invite. Please let me know if you didn't. I'm um, just I'm dripping out the um, the invites. So um, if you didn't get it yet, then if you're if you're not in one of those programs, then um, then you'll be getting it soon. And if you are in one of those programs, if you're a pro member, VIP member, or a band member, then um, then let me know if you didn't receive your registration. All right, so the jam space is very cool, and there's some really great features coming up. Okay, so let's just see. You want to make sure. So, Greg, uh, what's your Twitch channel? It's uh, Rockstar Mind. So, Rockstar Mind, all one word. Um, thanks, Johnny. Um, cool. James is here. Very cool. I'm glad you made it. 
Uh, doing good, Johnny. Okay, so cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I am going to um, start the clock. I found um, I found two. So I found a tab that was. I don't know if it was just put together. I don't know if it's uh, from Japan or what, but I found some weird tab book and that's what I'm using for this. And hopefully it's accurate, but we're always going to use our ears. So we're going to make sure that we get the um, the song to sound like what, what it sounds like in our head. Okay. It's very important that you learn songs that you love on guitar for that exact reason is so that you can, um, you always know what it's supposed to sound like. Okay. No use playing scales or exercises all the time. Um, I really don't focus on that that much with my students. Um, because if you're learning songs that has all the, that have, those have all the techniques that you need. Um, in my opinion, to learn, especially if they're a little bit more uh, advanced than you can play, like it would just beyond your skill level. And um, if you pick a song like that and you love that song, then that's going to do some really great stuff because you're going to stretch your ability, you're going to improve your technique, but you also know what it's supposed to sound like. So it's just going to be a much better experience for you than if you're just blindly playing some some scales or exercises. All right, so let's get started. I started the clock and I just gave myself a little bit of a grace period there, but let's get going here. Okay, and uh, <laughs> Greg, got you all in all three. You mean um, all three streams, Periscope, Facebook, and Twitch? Just let me know. I mean, you don't need to have all three if, uh, if that's what you, you've got going on. But anyway, so here we are. I'm going to switch over to, let me actually zoom out a little bit here. Okay. And uh, this one has a bunch of different things. This has a bass and all that. So we're going to have to ignore some of this stuff. But I'm going to switch over to my uh, guitar cam. Okay. And so with a quick scan, so scanning through, I'm just going to make sure there isn't anything weird. Like I'm going to look through the tab and I'm just going to make sure there's not anything weird. So I'm just looking to see if there's power chords. Okay. Um, follow, I'll follow e-guitar, so electric guitar one. Okay, um, yeah, so just power chords. I'm just scanning through. It looks like slide, okay, just making sure that there isn't anything weird. I'm going to play through in a sec. Pull-offs, okay. Oh, I'm starting with Kickstart My Heart, by the way. Okay, some palm muting. doesn't look like there's anything weird happening, which is good. Um, Looks like this ba 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 boom that little bass part in the intro. Okay, doesn't look like anything. It just this song's a bit fast. I mean, 180 BPM. But I'm gonna learn that main riff, and then we'll see where it goes. Okay, so now after I've done that, after I've scanned through, and I, I, there's a lot of extra stuff. I really tried finding um, the you know the official songbook on this one. But um, this is some offshoot, but it's fine. It looks looks like it's going to be okay. And um, it's a boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this is the intro. Okay, so I'll just start with that third fret, fourth fret. So with the next step is basically to go through with no tempo practice. Okay, you should be able to hear this. Let me actually just make sure. Um, yeah. Okay. So power chords three. So it's in my head, I know what it's supposed to sound like here. And um, that's really the key is you want to make sure that you know, that you're playing songs, you know. So, And now I'm going to go through this with no tempo practice, which means I'm just going to kind of go through. And before I was just scanning through with my eyes, now I'm going to basically scan through with my fingers and play without any tempo just to make sure there isn't any weirdness. So... Um, weird because I hear more strokes inside the record, but it's okay. Okay, okay going down. Okay, and then there's repeat signs over here. That's what these are. It's repeat signs, so it's going to keep repeating. Um, Okay. Oh, thanks, Greg. Awesome, buddy. Thanks for checking if the stream's working. It, it's it's all uh, all good. Seems like it's uh, all good. Perfect. Okay. And oh, let me actually check real quick. Can you guys see this? You should, no matter what platform you're on, you should be able to see testing. 
one, two, three. You should be able to see testing one, two, three. I think that should work. Okay. So back to this here. I got a boogie here. Um ba 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 Okay, I don't really like how I don't really like how um it switches to the open A over here to the power chord. Maybe I might just stay up here and I'm just kind of I'm just kind of changing um, this up as it fits because I'm just going to play the song. This is all I want to do is I just want to play the song. So I don't care if I'm playing it here and they're playing it there on the tab. If it sounds like it to me, then that's good enough. So um, now that I've done no tempo, so I've kind of gone through this part here. That part's all good. I'm just going to kind of go through now this riff at no tempo, um, just going through without any pulse. So. Okay, that's, I mean, I could hear the riff in there, so that's cool. Um, I think there's actually a mistake right here, but it's okay, we'll just go with it. Okay, um, okay, and that's probably where it would end. So anyway, I'm just, um, if you're watching this and you're like, what the hell is he doing? I'm just going through this, making sure there isn't any weirdness, and there actually is some weirdness in here. Um... In my head, I could hear it. I could hear the 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 riff in my head. So some of this stuff matches up on the tap, some of it doesn't. But I'm just gonna go with what I hear in my head. Always take tabs for a grain of salt, because also there's one part in here that didn't sound right. It's subtle, but it didn't sound right to me, so I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. And let's see what happens if I go like this. So I'm gonna now move from no tempo practice to, to um, slow tempo practice, which means I'm just gonna take a little bit here. Let me get my toolbox um, ready here. Hopefully I can draw. There's one thing I didn't uh, check beforehand. If I could draw on this, okay. No, I can. Um, boom. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play slowly. I'm gonna play this part here slowly. So going from this, with slow tempo practice, you're gonna have a pulse, but it's gonna be very slow. As slow as you can um, without making a mistake, okay? So, um, that open a anyway so now i've got that part um the the slow tempo now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go to my fast practice formula and my fast practice formula it says you play something three times without making a mistake before moving on okay now moving on to what increase the speed increase the amount or increase the complexity okay, you can see that on the top line there three x w m m is uh, three times without making a mistake so i'm going to play this part three times without making a mistake and then i'm going to move on so i'll show you what that means in just a sec um and i'm blocking the tab over here so let's go like this that should be better. Okay, so. Okay, now I played the whole thing there. I kind of made a snap decision to do the whole thing because I, I looked at the clock, I have 22 minutes left. And so that whole part there, Normally what you would do, you'd play in a little chunk and then you would um, work on connecting it. Now, um, I'll do this one more time, that whole thing, and that should cover it all. That should give me the, the muscle memory that I need. But um, typically you would just go like this. You'd go... Um like that, and that would be one time, then you'd do it again. 
and then you do it. That's two times they'll make a mistake, and then you do it again. Right, and you basically you play. That's three times they'll make a mistake, and you move on. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I've got this part here at a decent tempo. Um, so. then it goes into the riff. So now I'm going to move to the riff and um, cuz I think there's going to be some surprises here in this riff. Um, okay. So far so good guys. Um, I'm just kind of going through this again. So no tempo to slow tempo. I'm going to go to the next chunk. Boom ba dum ba dum boom. Okay, and just see what that feels like and kind of gauge it from there. Okay, let me know in the chat if you're still if you still see and hear clearly and that you're following along. So and see this power chord I think is gonna be a problem. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a sort of mock G5 instead of this. So, same chord, just different position. That's two times. Three times they'll make a mistake. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn this next part here. So uh, three times they'll make a mistake. I'm moving on. I'm increasing the amount. So I'm actually playing another chunk. These are little chunks that I'm playing. I'm playing this, increasing the amount. So the amount that I can play in this song. So that means I'm moving on to this next chunk here. Sometimes it means that I'm add on to the, the chunk that I just played, but I'm moving on to the next chunk. So, so, and I think that this note here, this three, it should be a four. times they'll make a mistake. I don't really like this either. Um, I know that it's kind of, I can see on the tab it goes like this. But I think, um, I think I'm going to play this chord. It sounds like open. Um, and I can go play this here. I'm just kind of figuring this out um, in my head, kind of crunching some numbers. So if I go... Um, yeah, I think that's going to be better. Okay, so let's go two, uh, so three times they'll make a mistake. So. Okay. Whoops. Mm, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, three times they'll make a mistake. So see, it's just kind of like a habit. I'm playing three times they'll make a mistake before moving on. Here I'm translating this part. Um, to instead of this, I'm going to do this. This is just a fr little fretboard translation. Which all keeps it in this area here. I like that. So, um, I like that. That's good. Um, so now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to increase the amount. Um, I'm going to play these two chunks together. Okay, I'm going to go... Okay. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to start again. I made a mistake there. So... Um, just pumps me up, man. Um, it's not even up to speed. So I played all three, uh, so three times without making a mistake. I'm going to move on. Now I'm going to play uh, this part here. So I'm increasing the amount. Oh, uh, sorry, whoops. Um, okay, uh, yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, that's two times I'll make a mistake. Cool. Yeah, love it. Okay, so now I'm going to play uh, this whole part here. 
Cool. One time. Uh, second time now. Cool. And then third time. So yeah, I'm building my confidence with this part here. Um, that feels really good. So now I'm gonna move on. Okay, yeah, so this is all pretty much the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leverage my time, which means I'm just gonna kind of like use what I, what I already learned. I'm gonna skip that. I'm just gonna learn this riff. Ball, 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 ball. wonder why am I playing an upstroke at first this has to do with the rhythm here there's an eighth note rest that would be a downstroke and this would be this would be a down that I don't play and then up down up down up down up so I just there's certain things that I recognize here that do make this faster and if you need any help with this just please uh, let me know um, part of this is there's certain skills that I'm bringing to the table here that help me play this stuff quickly but again the whole thing about a pajama jam is instead of me pretending to um, have trouble with with a part and just tell you oh well, you know bar chords you might have a, a problem with this I put myself in challenging situations for me um, so that you could see how I get out of them and uh, how I work my way through it okay so you don't have to understand why I did an upstroke there um, that's just something that needs to happen right here I have to play an upstroke <laughs> I'm going to put some heavy distortion on this soon, um, and yeah, that'll sound even better. But I'm doing it with clean just so I could hear all the details. So A little mistake there. Uh, another mistake. So what I have to do now, I play two mistakes in a row. I'm going to uh, decrease. I'm going to go back. Either decrease the speed, decrease the amount, or decrease the complexity. Got 14 minutes left here. So... So that's the previous part. Now this part here, I'm going to decrease the speed here. So okay, that's one. mistake so I have to reset the clock so I have to reset the um, that was I'm resetting back to I didn't play any time correct so uh, when you make one mistake everything your three times they'll make a mistake um, that all gets reset so here um, again ah <laughs> so now that's two mistakes in a row I got to slow down even more so see it's like a game right you're like clocking in a score So see what I mean? Like this is back and forth. It's like your practice is telling you what to do with this fast practice formula. You know whether to slow down or play less or you lower the complexity. Um, now that I've got that, I'm going to go back to this one here. And let's get that. Well, it's really, really, I mean, good thing Dr. Feelgood's a short riff. Um, so here. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to re refresh my memory with that. Now I'm going to play all, both of them together. Um, I should be able to do this with just looking at the guitar. So. Cool, that's one.
okay, so now what I'm going to do is something that you shouldn't try at home. I'm going to play uh, up to speed just to see where my flaws are. Um, oh, man, that's super fast. Um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> there's a more methodical approach that, you know, if you don't have my book, check out my book, Practice Less, Play More. Um, there's a more methodical approach to the tempo if you're not racing against the clock. But I've got to get this because I want to have at least 10 minutes um, for Dr. Feelgood. So let's see. Um... Okay, that's not bad actually. Um, that's better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, okay, so. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, last time, so. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to go with that. That's that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. Um, better than I thought. And also, one thing that I want to make sure uh, that you understand is I'm playing with a relatively clean tone. It's like a overdriven tone. That's on purpose because I can, like, there's going to be stuff with distortion that's going to really mask. Um, I want to get as close to, to perfect as possible or at least close to like a clean performance as possible like this and then with distortion it's just gonna be that much better um there are like it's not perfect or anything um and that's fine but um i want it to be as close as possible with clean and then the distortion is gonna make it sound even better so um what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna just get this going um, um yeah So that's actually, I'm pretty happy about that. It's not that complicated of a riff. So that's why it's, it's fairly, um, I guess, memorizable, um, if that's a word. Like It's because it's all like little patterns within this area here. Um, and that's what I did. I made some changes in the tab um, to, to get that, you know, feeling like it's all pretty similar in this area, not moving around or anything weird. Um, okay, so what I'll do is, let me just make sure that was up to speed. Uh, whoops. Haha, <laughs> two mistakes in a row. So let me just get that one more time. So. Okay, yeah. Makes me want to tease my hair in a mullet and wear uh, some leather. And uh, <laughs> there's something about this riff that just pumps me up, man. I don't know what it is. It's just it's a really great riff. Um, so, yeah, cool. I mean, I've got to work on my celebrations over here because uh, that was a lot of fun. And I think that was uh, I did a good job there. Um, let me know if, if um, that was helpful, if you enjoyed that, if it was entertaining. Uh, you know, I've got seven minutes here and i got to learn Dr. Feelgood. But I just want to make sure that... Uh, that you're getting uh, something out of this. I'm having a blast, um, especially playing this riff. So I've got a boogie though. So I've got to see, I think Dr. Feelgood was the first track here. Yeah, okay. And then I'll add some distortion after this is done. So I get the, the tone that we need here. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll hear it distorted in in a sec. Um, bump 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 bump. No, sorry. Bump 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 bump. Okay, so here I'm gonna do quickly, like a very quick scan. 
Where does it go? Where's the riff? The main riff. Okay. Slow tempo practice of the 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 pattern. Oh, uh, this one is 112. It's BPM. Listen to the tempo. Normally, you'd hear the song. You'd listen to the song when you're practicing. I'm just not doing that right here um, for copyright reasons. But um, that's what you would do is you'd listen to the song. I gotta jump into it, guys. Normally, I would do a little bit more methodically, but. Um So that part, I'm not worried about that. What I want to spend the time on is the main riff. So I'm going to scan through. It's just really just this part here. Scan through. Just palm muted. Double stops. Okay. So uh, slow tempo practice of the this part. I think it goes. Yeah, I think there's a chromatic shift in there. I'm gonna uh, switch the tab up. Uh, if it's not this, then that's okay. But okay, so okay, I'm gonna play so slow I can't make a mistake. So. Times they'll make a mistake before moving on. I'm gonna up the speed. So, oh, there's a mistake. One, two. Ah, there's a mistake again. One, two, three. Okay. Um, let's. Boom. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Okay, you guys see how effective it is? Playing three times without making a mistake. One might be lucky, two might still be lucky. Three means you know it. Um, let's see this. Um. Playing along with the record too would be very effective. Um, just getting those targets. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do? I'm going to increase the um, complexity. I'm going to decrease the speed because I'm going to go. Yeah, that's good. That, that's a good chunk there. Um, so, so I'm gonna actually play the whole thing, but slower. Okay, and then I should be able to wrap this thing up. Okay, that's one. Okay, um, <clears throat> I was thinking about actually a really bad uh, joke. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna do that. So let's just continue here. I've got a couple of minutes left. And it wasn't like it was a dirty joke. It was just a, like a really bad dad joke. Anyway, so... Um okay, uh, next one. Third time. Cool, I like it a lot. So... This is reckless doing it up to speed here, but I'm going to just kind of go for it and see what we get. Sometimes this exposes flaws that I could just um, go under the microscope on those parts. Not bad. Okay, no, so it's still, it's a bit fast. So I'm actually going to drop down here to 100. <sighs> Okay. Third 
time here. Cool. Okay, I'm actually going to go back up to 112. And just kind of go for it here. One minute left. Love it. All right. That, <laughs> okay. So that is, um, that feels pretty damn good to, uh, to, whoops, to get going. Let me just get this. Where is, where am I? Here I am. Okay. Yes. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I got to work on my celebrations. I'm just, it's a little bit, it's been a long day and, uh, my wife and my daughter are sick, and I'm probably going to get sick. Um, so the celebration isn't as epic as I would have liked it to be, but those are two riffs, two of my favorite riffs from uh, Motley Crue, and put together using um, my fast practice formula. Now, I want to just say here is that some of the things, because, okay, you got to remember as well, I'm practicing here, so I'm trying to say as many things that I'm thinking. I'm trying to narrate the process as much as possible, but I could only, only do what... Uh, what I can with the time that I have and the learning that needs to happen. So some steps you might be like, oh, well, you know, how does this connect to this? But just know that the process that I'm using is the same one that I use inside the book, practice less, play more. Um, it's the same thing. It's just, I might not, I might not say all those steps. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that because you might be like, Oh, well, how did you do that? Or how did you do that? There's some stuff happening. And there's also because of the clock, there's some risks that I'm taking and I'm skipping some steps as well. So, um, I just want to mention that just so you don't think like there's, you know, when you're sitting down and practicing, um, just be more responsible. Typically when you're working with, uh, a metronome, you'll be upping the tempo after doing three times without making a mistake, you'll be upping the tempo by three BPM to five BPM. Because when you up the tempo by that amount, your fingers don't really notice the difference. They feel it feels pretty much the same as the previous pass. So the theory um, is that you go up, you play three times without making a mistake, and then you increase the speed by three to five BPM. And then it's just like it feels the same. So you do three times without making a mistake there. And then you just keep bumping it up until you get to the target tempo. That's why it's important to know the target tempo as well. All right. So, um, okay, next. I promised uh, distortion. So let's get some distortion. This is just going to take a second. This is why I left it to the end. Because it's just going to take a second to, um, to switch the, the sound. So let me just do that. You might hear some tea, tea kettle. Um, one sec. And there we go. That is a heavy sound. Okay. So I'm going to just tune up real quick just to make sure because I mean I did a lot of playing there. Okay, that string isn't... That's weird. Um, come on, F. So that string is just always, always so weird. Okay. 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 Alright. So let's actually do uh, Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> actually is that on the fly I made um, I made a little uh, switch is that what because um, I noticed there's a lot of things processing as I'm playing so um, an upstroke on that first shot I just I did it one time and then I didn't do it another time and I noticed that when I didn't do the upstroke to start the riff I was lagging behind the click 
So I actually played an upstroke um, at the beginning. That up, up, so up, up, up. And that's what um, landed with the click perfectly because the upstroke is actually the gravity of this part. This is, um, that's supposed to come in on the up beat. And that's why I wasn't doing that. I was doing it with a down and that's why I lagged. Even when I was learning this part um, just a few minutes ago, I did it with the downstroke and I kind of lagged, but the upstroke is the way to go. So I just made that switch on the fly. Just in case you're trying this riff at home, um, I'm I'm suggesting you do an upstroke to start this. Bom, ba, 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 up. So up is the first one. Yeah. Um, now kickstart my heart. Um, let's get that tempo back up to 180. Okay. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Actually, I can do better than that. Am I doing that? That's definitely a brain fart. Um. Mm. That is the there's okay. Actually, there's one thing I didn't mention about this part, and I don't know if you hear this when you hear "Kickstart Kickstart My Heart." I'll play it one in just a second here, but I forgot to mention this: is I cannot hear this intro properly. Um, I don't know why. It always sounds like when he goes "bomb, ba, bomb, bomb." That's the one beat. It it's this. Some songs I'm not. I don't hear properly. Um, I don't know if when you hear songs, if there's certain songs that you just don't hear properly, or, or you don't hear it, but then the drums come in and it's like, oh, that's how the part goes. Sometimes, um, depending on the timing of when the riff starts, sometimes it sounds like the, we want it to be the one beat when it's not the one beat, and um, it could be kind of confusing. And no matter how many songs I've learned. No matter how many times I've listened to that song, I still can't hear that one properly. And that's what's messing me up here, just so you know. So I'm going to try this one more time here. So funny. Under the gun, I can play it um, up to speed and then I can't do it here, but let's, let's do this. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna microscope, just put that part under the microscope. Yeah. So. That's why. So I'm doing three times without making a mistake, very rapid, right there to fix that problem. Uh, there's no point practicing the whole thing if that's the area that needs work. So this should work now. Um, awesome. Oh my god, I'm missing that open A. Okay, a little bit of <laughs> my brain is going like it's like being wrung out um like a like a dish rag. So here, um let's try one more time here. And I'm actually gonna slow this down. No. It's all because I can't hear this part properly. I don't know why. Okay. Once I get to that, it's actually going to be fine, but it's getting to that. It's all because I can't hear that part properly. Even when Tommy Lee plays on the, the drums there, it sounds like such a weird beat that he comes in on. I don't know. There's this weirdness in this riff, um, and I knew it going into it. But um, I'll have to, that's one of the things I got to figure out eventually is how to hear that part properly. And you may have certain songs that you do this with, and if you don't yet, there will probably be songs that this happens. It's just a weird sort of phenomenon, almost like an audio illusion where you think that the one beat is, see here? This is where it sounds like it's the one. 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 
That's not. If, if, if you follow, that's not where the one beat is. That's actually the two. It's a weird thing. Anyway, so I'll just account for that. Um, let's get the tempo one more time. So I'm... That's so funny. All the other parts are so good, but uh, <laughs> all the other parts are so good, but that part is just a mess. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deep breath. Sometimes this might sound a little woo, -woo but I'm going to take a deep breath. which is going to relax my mind and my muscles. Because if my mind is tense, my muscles get tense, and then my mind gets tense. Or if my muscles are tense, then my mind gets tense, and my muscles are... It's just a feedback loop. Let's do this one more time here, and uh, I feel like I'll get it. All right, done. No more guitar playing for tonight. <laughs> anyway, no, that's uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the sort of the ebb and flow of that little mental breakdown um, that happened there. I'm just going to disconnect the, um, the heavy sound here. One sec, I'm just going to reconnect to the cleaner sound just in case. And all right, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that sort of thing happens where you just don't get the, there's something about it that isn't working and there's always a solution. There's always a solution, but you can't just keep doing the same thing over and over. Did you notice how I switched? Like I recognized where the problem was and I just only focused on the transition, um, like this part here, um, bomb, bomb, bomb. So here this. <laughs> I just focused on that so I didn't just keep hammering away the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over it's not worth it um, uh, unless you just want to like frustrate yourself and you know we would be on here for another hour or two if I just kept doing that your brain doesn't learn like that if it's, you're not, if it's not working properly um, if that part's not working then you have to switch your approach because what you're doing isn't working okay so that's why you saw me, anytime I made a mistake on that part, it's because I was doing something I shouldn't have been doing. I was either focusing on something, so it was all happening up here, um, so my mind was kind of drifting, or I was, um, I mean, you got to remember, this is still a fresh part, so like the muscle memory isn't fully s seeped in yet, but also there was that issue, I'm not hearing the part properly, and I have to sort of combat that to the listener. I, I could play along with the record, no problem, but up here, I'm not fully clear on that, but I'm compensating for that in my mind. So I am clear on it the way that I hear it, and I just, when I switch to the bomb, ba -da 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 -bom, I just sort of skip a little beat or whatever. You gotta, you gotta sort of just kind of make it happen no matter what, but what you don't want to do is just keep hammering away at the same amount of stuff over and over, make a mistake, start from the beginning. Go until you make a mistake, start from the beginning. And just go until you make a mistake, start. You just can't do that. It's not the way to practice. And so what I've shown you here is a strategy to, that you could use to practice. First, you know, you make sure you have your materials prepared. Then you also, you make sure that you have your, um, so you have the tab, you have the tempo, you have um, the guitar tuned, all that stuff there. I also had some, you know, some echinacea tea um, and some uh, some water over here. So making sure all that stuff is there, and um, and then I went through. I quickly scanned through. I did my no tempo practice. I did my slow tempo practice. Then I used the fast practice formula, and that's what I did. I just went through that process. And again, that's all laid out inside my book. So practice less, play more. It's all inside the book. Um, definitely check that out if you haven't already. There is. Um, there's a lot of really great tips in there. And if you have checked it out, read through the uh, chapter seven again, just so you make sure that you got the, the, 
uh, process of of learning um, you know have that clear in your mind and then go then you could go to chapters um, you know 9 10 11 where there's just more advanced techniques but um, but yeah chapter 7 is really the main thing inside that book and that's really what I did today in this session okay and hopefully I don't wake up tomorrow super sick um, really not uh, really um, it's so funny because my my daughter will, will play and then one finger maybe like just a little she has a tiny little finger she maybe, like let's say it goes like in my eye or like in my mouth just a little just a little bit and it's just like baby germs just contaminated i'll probably wake up sick tomorrow anyway that is enough of me yapping away and me playing um, if you have any questions or, um, I'll, I'll hang out for about 10 more minutes here. And, um, if you have any questions, tell me what you're working on. If you need any, um, any tips or anything like that in your playing, then I'm more than happy to, uh, to help you with that. So let's just see the, the chat here. I'm actually really loving this because, um, it's combining all of these different streams and I could see all the chat in one place. Very, very cool. Um, Okay, so let's see here. Oh, Basher says the Caps and the Canes tied at three. I wonder if they still are. My Leafs got pummeled yesterday. I'm so disappointed, um, but not that surprised because that's what happens when we play Boston in game seven. Um, that's what happens. Anyway, uh, go Blue Jackets, go. I'm really, really excited about that, but I'm wondering uh, if the Caps can uh, can make it happen. San Jose yesterday came back, completed a crazy comeback. Didn't see that coming. Um, all right, so uh, Johnny Warda, awesome. Steven, that was tight with the time. Well done, thank you guys. Greg, awesome. Um, thanks for the positive words, guys, and the the pep talk here. Um, all right, so uh, brain fatigue when practicing and repeating a riff that happens over and over. Um, for whom in for whom the bell tolls? Yeah, so so um, my fingers go crazy, and I just have to breathe and slow down. Yeah, definitely. Um, and also playing along with the record, it, it'll help. I mean, in the future, I'll play along with the record, and um, I mean, in my practice sessions, I do that. But you know, right now I don't, and it just has to do with some some. Um, streaming issues but yeah we'll uh we'll definitely get there so uh and james yes definitely read it again um let me just see here uh that part for fade to black oh yeah james uh so you were you're reminding me you're reminding me about uh fade to black okay so i'll, I'll do that i'll try to do that on here i'll put actually a capo on the second fret just so this sounds like it's in the right tuning um, okay, and I don't want to talk about the Leafs, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about the Leafs anymore, okay, Basher, yes, bye-bye, JT, um, JT, missing the reference, there, um, oh, John Tavares, okay, here we go, first of all, Basher, if that's what you're talking about, it's not, we're going to come back next year, and we'll probably play uh, someone else, uh, we'll probably play Maybe the Islanders. That'll be nice. Anyway, um, all right. Yes, and Lance, I think that you're also suffering from uh, kid germs as well. Okay, so let's see here. So James, I promised you. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. So okay, first of all, fade to black. This this part here. Let me just see if I remember. Here. movement over here see there's not really much movement but um the part that i was referring to uh james inside the the um chat was on this part where it's like uh Um, yeah, so, so when you're moving around to the different parts, like here, then here, then here, okay, and it's just like three positions and not moving so much, because then even when we go here, it's been a while since I've played this part. Yeah, so. Yeah, 
yeah, so let me just go through this a little bit uh, slower. Um, so. It's been a while since I played that, but what I wanted to have come across there was that when I'm playing it, it's all within this area here, and then I'm on another chord, and I'm you know, all within this area, and I'm playing here, I'm all within this area, and here, and then uh, like I'm moving on that last part, but I'm not all over the place, like on, um, I'm not playing every little uh, melody with a new sort of fingering there, I'm kind of working it all within that one area, so I wanted to show you that, and um, that would... That way there's a little bit of a reference point when I give you some feedback in uh, in the next uh, few days. Okay, so I just want to show you that when you're playing like this part here, not much movement. So not much movement there and also here. Oh, whoops. Not much movement there, um, just three different chords. Okay. And then here, whoops, well, I just, <laughs> total brain fart, yeah, I'm totally going to get sick by the way, I can feel it, my brain is just shutting down over here, but um, anyway, so that's, there's not much movement in this part, and that's what I wanted you to see there, James, is um, there you hear different melodies playing, but you're staying within whatever chord you were in, with, or at least within that sort of position, not kind of jumping from thing to thing. All right, um, so hopefully that's helpful. And uh, James Wheeler, uh, it's okay, man. Uh, I know you got to go. All good. Glad you had a great time. Um, and hopefully see you in a future episode. So let me know um, if you have any, I'll, I'll stick around for, for a few more minutes here and let me know if you need any uh, help with anything. Um, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. And also, if you want, uh, if you're not part of my Play From Day One program and you want to learn songs faster, then please reach out. Let me actually get the, um, where is it? Here. Yeah, so there's uh, the program is it, it's closed to the public um cuz you know there's i could only accept a certain amount of people because it's my time and so there's only so much of it um but what i have is a waiting list and um if you want to add your name to the waiting list then um when there's a spot that opens up for you then i'll let you know and then we can uh, we could proceed from there but the link is there play from day one that's number one play from day one dot com and you can check that out add your name to the waiting list and then i will reach out as soon as a spot becomes available so i wanted to just let you know that that if you are um is stuck in a rut or if you're just starting out on guitar or if you know it's, it's kind of like getting to the, your last resort like you don't know how to learn songs or um you just need some expert help then please reach out um it's a very interactive program and uh very customized to what you need and I, it all follows basically the stuff inside the book so practice less play more um it brings all of those concepts to life for you and uh so that you can play songs you love so let me see here um uh, Steven, uh, don't say it or you'll believe it. You'll not get sick. Okay, so I won't get sick. No, you know what? I just need to get a uh, good night's sleep. That's all. And even if I do get do get sick, it's just for like one day. Um, almost like I just figure out how to get better. It's this weird thing. I But the first time I got sick um, as a new dad, um, I was out of commission for like a week because I was just a mess. That, that, those were germs I've just never even encountered before. Um Cool. And James, yeah, no problem, man. Um, uh, no problem going over that. That's also a sort of side benefit of uh, coming to the Pajama Jam Live is that I can show you some stuff if you need some help. All right. So. All right, guys. Well, if that is all that uh, that you got for me tonight. And that's all I've got for you. And um, I'll be posting this replay. So this is going to be um, on Facebook. It'll be on YouTube. And it'll be, um, the replay will be in the jam space uh, as soon as possible. And um, 
Yes, again, if pro members, pro uh, play from day one pro, play from day one VIP, and also my band member uh, coaching program. If you have, um, if you didn't receive an invite to the jam space, please let me know. And uh, for everyone else, if uh, if you are really anxious to get into the jam space, I'm very anxious to have you in there. I'll be sending out the invites within probably the next few few days to a week, and I'm still doing a little bit more uh, testing with that. But lots of fun stuff on the way. I'm really, really excited. Again, check out the merch. Uh, I forgot to mention all proceeds for All Void Cancer merch. If you check it out, um, All Void Cancer merch will go to um, 100% of the proceeds will be used to create new programs for cancer patients and their caregivers. We've got um, tank tops, t-shirts. I even have uh, my mug over here as well, Void Cancer. Um, And so check that out in the merch store. I'll post a link right here. Um, what is it? So merch and here is the merch store. Check it out. We've got some new designs. Really, really excited. There's over 30 new items. I'm really stoked on these ones. Um, check it out and yeah, let me know what you think. Grab, uh, one or two items. And again, any of the void cancer merch, a hundred percent of the proceeds will be used to create new programs for cancer patients and their caregivers. And that's through my fundraising initiative, void cancer. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Um, definitely. I had a lot of fun. I also had fun. It might sound weird, but I had fun with that little mental breakdown at the end there. We're sort of trying to get that part down because I think there are some very real moments there that will be very beneficial for you um, in your own practice. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in uh, the next episode of Pajama Jam. I can't wait. So I hope you have a great night, great morning, great afternoon, no matter where you are in the world and we'll talk soon. Take care.